Hey guys, my name is Anthony Ricciardi and I'm here with Top Pitcher Baseball. What we're going to work on today is our shoulder strength and stability and core strength through our mechanics. So again, we're talking about pitching here, but not only pitching, it's all about arm strength for any position in the field, in the baseball field, of course. So, what we're going to work on is, I have two baseballs here. We keep this pretty simple. For the younger guys, two baseballs, six ounces is more than enough. When you, once you start getting a little older, three pound weights, five pound weights, they all work. But again, it's all about how you do the drills. And that's what we're gonna work on today. When it says we wanna do throwers 10 or do our shoulder circuit, what we're talking about here is a couple of different things. We're working on our stability, our mechanics, and being consistent through everything. Now, when, I'm, when we're at home, and the, and the workout tells you to do 10 reps of side lunge or side swipes or up downs or fingers up, thumbs up. What I mean by that is here. We're gonna go through all the different drills right now. So, palms down, drill one. We have our weights, our palms are down. I'm in a nice athletic position. My knees are bent, my shoulders straight, my head's up. My hips are strong and my core is tight. I'm here. Up, down, up, down. What we're focusing on is we're not, we're not rushing through it. We're not getting up, up here and putting extra strain on our shoulder here. What we're doing is here, down. Make sure we keep it consistent and keep it balanced. Now, that's it. that was drill one. So palms down, arms up, drill one. Drill two, forward. So we're working on a different part of our shoulder here, our rotator cuff. Forward, down. For, again, look at my arm, straight, I'm not lifting up too high, I'm not stopping here, and I'm not rushing through it. We're taking our time with everything. We wanna be here, there's gonna be a time we need to be explosive, when we're trying to explode off the mound with our legs and our hips. But when we're working on our shoulder strength and so shoulder stability, what we're working on is nice and comfortable right here. Up, down. Strong position in our legs. That's drill two. Drill three, thumbs up. The easiest way I used to remember of just, if I have my thumbs up, I understand what I'm doing correctly. So again, strong position. We're gonna start with our hands near our hips, near our, near our belly button. I'm here, up, down, up, down. Up, right to, right to 90 degrees here. We're not, we're not going up higher than that, right to here, down. That was drill three. Now drill four, very similar, get those thumbs down. So we want our pinkies in the air now, here, down. Again, understand we're coming from an open, we're not out here, we're not straight, we're in between. Right in between here, right there. Back to the middle, out, okay? Now our second thing is our pitcher's L's. So what we want to do is, <clears throat> oftentimes I would hold, just hold like I'm throwing a fastball because it's all about consistency, it's all about being comfortable. So if we hold the fastball more, we're more comfortable with it. Now, <clears throat> what we want to do is have our shoulders 90 degree angles up and down. Too often I see when pitchers are doing this, they're dropping their elbows down, they're up this way, they're up that way. What we want to do is be perfectly straight and work on being down and up. So, Look at my arm, it's perfectly straight. It's not down here, it's not up here, it's straight. Right, I'm straight here, up, down, up, down. So that's the drill that we wanna do, and it's very good once we start getting into more weight, the three pound or the five pound, is making sure we get all the way back. So watch me from the back angle. It's up, down, up, down, all right? That's a, it's a great drill to do. Another one we want to do from our throwing arm, it's especially important, is our swords. We come down like we're grabbing a sword from here and up. So down, up. I'm not, and it's not a quick, quick, quick thing. It's not a core workout, although you are keeping your core tight. You're not trying to do twists. You're going down and up. Down and up, okay? Now, next thing you wanna do are, are bent over rows and bent over flies. 
Bent over row is make sure that our knees are our shoulder width apart, bent, and our chest is straight down through. It's not up here, it's not down here, it's straight. Everything's on a straight line, and we're working on here. So my chest, everything, everything's straight, chest is down, up, up, up. Bent over flies is we're gonna be right here. Chest down, open, down, open, down. And we're working on pinching our scaps together. Our scaps, our scapula is here between our two shoulder blades to make sure we're strengthening. Because when we're pitching, we pinch that scap and we drive down through. So we're working on is strengthening that right there. It's making sure we're down, open, and through. All right? So those are our simple workouts to do. There's about eight drills right there that we can work on about four times a week. We can do it with baseballs, we can do it with three pounds, we can do it with five pounds. But the more consistent we get with it, the stronger our arms are, the longer we can last in games. It's just that simple. Especially at the younger age when we're becoming, we're a shortstop, then we're a third base, then we're pitching a complete game. Then we're back to shortstop, or we're at third base again, or we're in the L field. We have to have strong arms if we want to have successful careers. So doing this stability shoulder circuit makes you a stronger pitcher, makes you a more consistent pitcher, and it makes you a more confident pitcher because you know you've understood and you've put in that work to throw that pitch with confidence and with strength to make sure you're throwing with all your ability and as hard as you can. All right, guys, again, my name is Anthony Ricciardi, and this is Top Pitcher Baseball. Thanks.